And so I went off to school that morning and we put on these armbands. Well, my little sister Hope and Paul and I did because John decided to wait till the next day to try to negotiate with the school board. But Hope and Paul, my little brother and sister, they said, we want peace, we want peace too. So they wore armbands to school too. And when I was walking to school with Connie, my friend, I was really scared. And when I got to school, some of the kids started teasing me. And then at lunchtime, uh, the boys' table always sat next to us, girls' table. Of course, we sat at our own table. And so the boys started saying, I want an armband for Christmas. I want an armband. So they were just teasing me, but I ignored them like I always did. And so then later, after lunch, I went off to my math class, which was where Mr. Moberly was my teacher, and he was my favorite teacher. And Mr. Moberly was standing at the door of the math class with a pink slip in his hand. And I knew that was a bad sign. That means you have to go to the office. So when I got up there, he said, yes, you have to go to the office, Mary Beth. Mary Beth you're not supposed to be wearing those armbands. I took the pink slip. I went down to Miss Tanner in the office. I was very nervous and scared. I was 13. I was in eighth grade. I had on my armband. I was trying to make a stand and, and express my beliefs as I had so many examples for in my life. And when I got down to the office, Mrs. Tanner said, Mary Beth, I'm surprised at you. You know that's against the rules, so take off the armband right now. So in a great stand of courage and conviction, I said, okay, Mrs. Tanner, here you go. Take it off. All right. And I said, oh boy, that's over to myself. And I went back to my math class, and I was called back to the office, and I was suspended anyway. It would have been the end of the whole thing, except for a group called the American Civil Liberties Union, who heard about what we had done. And there was a woman there, Louise Noun, who decided that she would get the Iowa Civil Liberties Union to help us. So it went to court. And it went to the district court, and we lost. And it went to the appeals court, and we lost. Well, of course, I thought we would lose the whole thing, because I didn't think kids could stand up you know, to the math teacher and the principal and, and all that. But, in the end, in 1969, in November, the Supreme Court ruled by 7 to 2 that yes, students do have First Amendment rights in school, and neither students or teachers leave their right to expression at the schoolhouse gate.